It's afternoon of December 13th. We're back in familiar territory. This is a spot that brings back some good memories for me. We slipped in the back door out here on the CRP farm and we're set up basically right where I shot my buck last year uh, during late muscle litter season. It's the second shotgun season here in Iowa. It's day two of uh, about a 10 day season. Last night I uh, was back home with some buddies filming them, I knocked down a couple deer. This morning we went pushing with my buddy Jake on some public land, had a good time, uh, got close. He's got some buddies back from Wisconsin that are coming in. They got a couple buck tags. I just got doe tags. Anyway, we swapped counties and we're back here on the CRP farm this afternoon. And this is a spot where it's basically just catching them coming out of all this bedding. Um, all the bedding's basically straight northwest of us. We got a strong west wind this afternoon. It's cold. We had some snow come through um, about two days ago. And temperatures have dropped it's probably i'd say it's definitely below 30 probably 25 degrees and basically our thought here is just the same as it's always been to catch these deers that come out to this cornfield that's back behind us we're set up on this big terrace and you can basically oversee the whole farm especially now that this, there's snow on the ground so uh really looking forward to it hopefully Hopefully a couple of does make their way out. They seem to follow this little tree line out in front of us with these willows and then pop over this uh, little levee and go out and feed. So should be a pretty good night. I've got two doe tags for this county. So uh, we're going to do our best this week to try to get them filled. But actually earlier today, we checked the camera on the town farm and a buck that uh, we've been trying to get hunter on all season has been showing up pretty regular down there in a big and beastie food plot that I made this summer. Uh, he's been pretty regular, a lot of daylight activity in that food plot, a lot of deer hitting it. So um, it's good to see that the deer are using it and that deer's, you know, maybe he's cored up for late season. We don't know, but he's been on there, I bet, probably five out of the last 10 days, you know, periodically. So a lot of daylight movement on there. So I think we're going to get Hunter a buck tag maybe tomorrow, get that muzzle loader sighted in um, and try to get him on that buck. If not, I think we might try to get uh, back on the river farm where we had a really good encounter with that uh, tall brow buck there uh, the last day of the bow season so should be a good night it's cold these deer ought to have the need to feed so we're set up we're good to go hunters actually sitting on the tree that I killed my buck on last year so should be a good night looking forward to it Probably got about 10 minutes left of legal shooting light here and it's been real slow today. Uh, we've, we've, heard, we've heard quite a bit of shooting around here so I wonder if these deer are just kind of hunkered down. This area gets a lot of pressure uh, during the shotgun season so it's just part of it but I was kind of hoping uh, this little buck that just came through I was hoping it was a doe but it wasn't but anyway. Uh, this farm gets really good late season. It just has a lot of good thermal cover up there and those cedars on that ridge and those deer can just look down over this field and it just sets up really well. There's only a couple bucks out here uh, that we got pictures of uh, in the later part of November that we would maybe be interested in that maybe a uh, hunter would want to get on maybe later on this week, but nonetheless, uh, probably gonna wrap it up for us for the season talent, but we'll definitely be out tomorrow. Um, I'm not real sure where we're going to end up going. I'll try to get that gun sighted in. Um, like I said, I've got a, quite a few doe tags, so I'd like to get those filled maybe in the morning and then uh, let Hunter hunt in the afternoon. So should be pretty good. 
the weather's going to be cool the next three or four days, so it should should be good for us. So hopefully, with any luck, we can uh, get Hunter on his first Iowa deer. But we'll definitely be out tomorrow afternoon, and maybe out tomorrow morning. We got a lot of work to do, so I'm not real sure, but definitely be out tomorrow at some point.